Today in the news, we've got some wet RTX and some polished chrome. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. With all the 2080 Ti's and 2080's that will be in circulation pretty soon, a big portion of these customers might look at their card and say, this, this piece of electronic needs to be wet. Well, here comes Alpha Cool to the rescue with the first water cooling system made for the 2080 and the Ti variant. The 2080 Ti is supposed to have a TDP of 250 watts or 265 watts for the OC Founders Edition. So as we've seen from Nvidia, with the changes in their cooler design, this little ray tracing baby might need some help in the temperature department if you're going to push it a little bit further. The Alpha Cool Eyes Wolf 240 GPX Pro is actually an AIO with quick disconnect which means that if you buy it, it's certainly not for its looks. Anyways, I just thought that it was interesting to see an AIO for such a high-end card. I mean, if you buy a 2080 Ti and you want to cool it with water, wouldn't you just like shell out the cash for a custom loop? Although I do have to admit that the quick disconnects are a lot more practical. Moving on, Chrome got a polish yesterday with a new and updated look. We talked about it before, but it is finally here. We get the more rounded shapes and tabs, some new splashes of color here and there, and the interface changed a little bit. For us on PC, Chrome 69's address bar will be more nimble in terms of giving us answers and quick links to where we want to go. Personally, I've never been super excited about browsers. I mean, Chrome does what I want, and when it doesn't, then I'll just use Firefox or Edge. What do you guys want from a browser? Is there something that it doesn't have that you want it to have? Let me know down below. Then we have AMD with a humble brag on Vulkan in the game Strange Brigade. The multi-GPU support for Vulkan was launched back in March, but we haven't seen any AAA game support it yet. Well, this is the game. The main thing Vulkan does in this case is reduce the API overhead significantly. I mean, as is, Vulkan is overall a great API, and it shows here in the multi-GPU stats where two RX Vega 56s scaled almost perfectly at 4K Ultra with 1.9x scaling in the frame rates. Now I'm going to stop here because these performance metrics don't tell us anything and are kind of useless in a way. Here's why. One, AMD had to work on the game-ready drivers for the game themselves. Meaning, if an independent developer had no connections to AMD, you can be sure that they won't spend the time to implement Vulkan. And two, these numbers are just AMD numbers. Where are the multi-GPU numbers for different cards from different vendors? Where's the performance with different tiers? This just tells us that you'll get X frame rate with a Vega 56 on one specific game. Don't worry, I get it. Vulkan is great. DirectX 12 is great, but I don't want to know how the API overhead will allow me to shave a few extra frames. I want to know when I'll be able to use a 1070 with an RX 580 and see a big performance boost. I know it's a lot to ask, but wasn't that one of the main things that made DirectX 12 and Vulkan such a hot topic a few years back? Oops. Moving on, let's get into some gaming news, and this one, this one's pretty funny. Thomas Bach, the Olympic chief, said that video games won't be allowed because they're too violent. Damn, that's harsh. I mean, you can watch a dude slam another one into a wall in real life at incredible speeds and watch him splat on the ice, but you can't take a mouse click 360 no scope? Hmm, that's weak, Thomas. I mean, my thought process on esports is pretty clear. The people who play it don't play it to watch an avatar get hurt. They play to get the best scores and to become the best teams. They don't talk about how a head explodes when they caught a headshot. They talk about body to head accuracy ratios. That's what esports players do. You might have the odd casual player who thinks about things like that, but you also have the odd boxer who goes in underground fight clubs to fight. It's arguments like that that make me thankful that esports is its own evolved thing and not associated with older competitive mediums. Alright now I heard you guys on the last video, some of you liked the new intro, some of you didn't. Don't worry, the old intro song is still the main intro. I'm just going to try some new stuff out sometimes. I mean this show would not be what it is now if it wasn't for your guys' feedback so keep it coming. Anyways that's pretty much it for the news guys, hopefully you've enjoyed. Don't forget to click a like down below and a comment down below with the question you would like to ask me. You can click right here to subscribe to the channel and right here to watch the latest video. Boom boom! 
This is boom, 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 boom. I do, okay, I'm not gonna do that. All right, take care guys, stay frosty, and I'll see you on the next one.